What's happening guys? Silent Mike, Super Training Gym, Mark Bell's Powercast, Reebok 1. Checking in, showing you guys a little bit of my hypertrophy bench day. Uh, if you guys go back to my previous videos, I did a how to increase your bench press and showed you guys my basic programming. Uh, but basically, I rotate kind of a power day, a strength day, and a hypertrophy day, uh, which is now becoming much more popular uh, with the trend of daily undulating periodization, uh, switching up your reps and sets throughout the week daily. Also, typically with daily undulating periodization, uh, it is very high frequency, high volume, but it doesn't necessarily, uh, I'm kind of moderate frequency, uh, moderate to high volume. Uh, so it all depends on what works for you in terms of recovery, uh, time, stuff like that, strength, experience. But on my hypertrophy bench day, as you guys will see today, Mark was doing something similar. Uh, Mark had like six sets of six to eight. Uh, I was dealing in the eight rep range, and then you'll see uh, my boy Dan in with us, and his is more of like a speed power day. So let's first go over the hypertrophy day. The hypertrophy day uh, is anywhere from maybe 60 uh, to even up to 80%. Uh, and you're working for hypertrophy to build muscle. Uh, so your rep ranges are anywhere probably from six all the way up to 15, maybe even 20s, depending on your goals. Programming like this works for any uh, goal, whether you're a bodybuilder, physique competitor, a power lifter, strength athlete, football player. That's kind of like the awesomeness is that it's not a program, it's more of a um, theory or method or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's more of an outline. So if your goal is uh, more uh, strength, then you have more power and more strength days than you do hypertrophy days. If your goal is more muscle building, uh, bodybuilding, um, physique, anything like that, or just to look good, feel better, then you can have more hypertrophy days and a few less strength and power days. So my hypertrophy day here is once a week or once every uh, third bench session. Uh, this time I'm working eight, sometimes I work 10, sometimes I work uh, sixes, and every once in a while I'll work 12s or 15s. I'm doing three sets of eight reps at 305 pounds, uh, which I believe is around 70% or so for me. Uh, not sure where my one rep max is, so just kind of guess. Uh, same with Mark. Mark's working a little lower percent percentage um maybe 60 percent maybe a little bit above because he works up to about 365 or 355 or so and he's doing sets of six uh dan like i mentioned is doing his power day uh, which is a way uh, for you to work on speed form technique uh, without getting too taxed. So we use lower reps. He's doing sets of three uh, with about 60, 65%. So Dan's about 275 and then maybe does a set or two at 305. Also with those power days, typically your reps, uh, excuse me, sets will be a little bit higher so you get more overall volume in. Just three sets of three probably isn't enough if you're using 70%. So he uses 70, 60%, uh, but he's doing six sets of three. Also on my hypertrophy, power, strength, uh, all my days, I like to throw in the slingshot afterwards. So I'll do two to three sets extra, also eight reps, keeping the same rep scheme, uh, adding a little bit more weight. As I mentioned before, depending on your goals, uh, maybe you're an in-season athlete. If you're an in-season athlete, whether that be uh, football or cycling or it really doesn't matter, maybe you have less hypertrophy days because hypertrophy days can beat you up and get you sore. Less strength days because your strength doesn't... Um, you can't really test your strength or really push yourself in season because you're fatigued from your sport. You do more power days. So maybe it's a two to one ratio. You're doing uh, two power days, then a hypertrophy day. Two power days, then a strength day. Two power days, then a hypertrophy day. Uh, and repeat. There's a million ways to mix it up, a million ways to get strong. Uh, it all depends on your goals, what works for your head. You can also use bands, chains, uh, variations of the lift. We could have done close grip hypertrophy day, and we could have done three sets to four sets of eight close grip with about 60%. Uh, it, I don't want to say it doesn't matter. It does matter, but you can manipulate this thing uh, to work for you. Here's Dano. We moved his grip out a little bit. Mark suggested it. I kept yelling at him to pull those elbows in. He wouldn't listen to me. So instead of pulling those elbows in, uh, Mark just had to move his grip out about an inch or so, which I think will translate to a lot of gains for my boy Dan. Uh, he previously benched around 410 pounds or so in his last meet, squatted 711, and pulled 680. Uh, so we're looking maybe 20 to 30 pound PRs on both the squat and deadlift, and I'm, I think maybe a 20 pound, uh, 15 pound PR on the bench too. He's been working really hard. Uh, more in that hypertrophy range, which he's never really trained before. I think he, in his past, he's done more like max effort type work uh, and the very light work, not 
building a lot of muscle. Dan being a young kid, kind of being an explosive football athlete his whole life, has never really focused on hypertrophy. So I think uh, these last couple weeks of focusing on those higher reps, uh, higher volume, will translate very, very well for him. Here's Mark's last set, I believe. Uh, 355 pounds or so, just smashing it up. His hips were tight because uh, we deadlifted with a crazy amount of band uh, earlier in the week. So my back was tight too, but so that's, uh, and he was using lighter percentage, so he just went with his legs up. Just a simple change. Like I mentioned, you could do variations in the lift. Uh, if he was going to do six sets of six all out, maybe he could use 400, 450 pounds or so. But he has his feet up, just trying to be smooth. Another big thing with uh, higher frequency or higher volume training in general is you don't really want to grind reps. You don't want to fight through every single rep. If you fight through a bunch of reps in every single session, uh, you're going to get behind very quickly. So I tried not to grind any reps here because I have to bench in three days. So when I bench in three days, I'll probably do a couple sets of three, uh, being powerful, being fast, lower percentage. Here's my top set with my slingshot. Uh, I don't even know what it is, 335 or so. Just getting more blood in, getting more work in. They get a little hard, but I wouldn't necessarily say grindy. Showing you guys a little bit of our uh, accessory hypertrophy work. Uh, on all three of my days, both power, strength, and hypertrophy, my accessory work is all very similar. Some kind of back movement, I like rows. I like this pull down grip, kind of palms facing me. Feel good stretch of my lats. Uh, get a little bit of blood into my biceps. Then I also did some dumbbells. So on one week, uh, one day a week, I like to do slingshot, close grip, and dumbbells. And then on my second bench day, uh, I've been incorporating more overhead. Giving you guys a little view of uh, super training gym, how lazy everyone else is in the background. We like to communicate, we like to have fun. It is our social hour, but we also get a bunch of work done. So normally on our barbell movement, not a lot of talking is going on, music's loud. When we get into the hypertrophy work, music will turn down a little bit, we'll hang out, <clears throat> make it more of a social club, kind of our, our frat men's club. Two or three sets of all these uh, reps typically for me will go anywhere from six to 15, kind of like everything else. Here it's getting pretty heavy, so I'm just focusing on squeezing that back, getting a little stretch, squeezing that back again. Uh, I didn't count sets and reps so much today. I'll just go till it burns, uh, until it feels too heavy. Mark hopped in also, he was going flat. He might have done shoulder work before this as I was doing back. Uh, but I like, because I don't do barbell incline very much, uh, and as I said on my second day, I'm doing overhead work. So I like to do an incline. Um, it just, you know, hits a different part of your pec. Doesn't really matter in terms of how I look, even though a nice round pectoral muscle always looks better. But I just like to handle dumbbells, works your stabilizers a little bit more. You can say it works your pecs a little bit more than the bench. The bench can work your triceps, shoulders, pecs, and uh, back, but I'm not focusing on that in the bench. When I'm benching the barbell, I'm just focusing on firing everything I can at the same time, moving the most amount of weight as I can as I'm getting as tight as I freaking can. Uh, with the dumbbells, I can take a step back, use a little bit lighter weight, and kind of focus on squeezing my chest, a la a bodybuilder or something of that nature. Last set of pull downs here. Use the stack, stacking it up. This grip is obviously uh, strongest for most people. You get a little bit more bicep involved rather than a wide grip or a palms facing out or even a neutral. A little bit more bicep, a little bit more lat. I got six to eight referees, repetitions here. And then one more set on the incline dumbbell uh, with Mark. Give me the fake spot because I didn't really need a spot, but I got a spot anyways. It's about 100 pounds. Um, I haven't pushed the dumbbells lately, uh, even though I've done about 120s, 130s on the incline or so, uh, because I've been uh, getting a lot of volume on the flat bench. Here's just to get more of a stretch, showing you guys how flexed up I am, doing the uh, muscle magazine pose with Mark holding my elbows. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Just an idea of my hypertrophy bench day, how you can build some bigger pecs, build a bigger bench. If you like that video, please share it. Like that bitch, subscribe to that bitch. Subscribe to that bitch. Subscribe to that bitch. You heard me. I'm out of here, guys. Thanks.
よ。